Well, everybody loves a good mystery, but it's even more intriguing when it's real and it's right in your own backyard. As such is the case with a legend that has taunted Foley residents for years now. The claim that a secret tunnel exists beneath their city. Well, we kept hearing about it and decided to see if the tunnel really does exist, which is why we sent Local 15's Darwin Singleton to explore the mystery of the Foley Tunnel. I set out on this story to find the truth behind the mystery of the Foley Tunnel, but I soon discovered this is more than just a mystery. It's also a love story involving communists, the atomic bomb, women sharpshooters, a visionary, a cannonball, and oh yes, a tunnel. Ask most people in Foley, Alabama, and they'll tell you it's there. At least they've heard it's there. A secret passageway beneath the old downtown. But why it's there and who built it is a mystery to most. And some wonder if it even exists at all. Yes, there is. A, t a real tunnel. A real tunnel. Few have ever seen it, but you are about to, thanks to this woman who knows more about the tunnel than anyone. Why? Because her husband built it. They told me that he was a confirmed bachelor. And I said to myself, I'll see just how confirmed he is. <laughs> I found out he wasn't confirmed. Marjorie Snook is the owner of Magnolia Inn in Foley. It was called the Magnolia Hotel when it was built in 1908. Her husband, John Snook, called it home for a good part of his life. Marjorie remembers seeing him there for the first time. And I saw this man come by, and he tipped his hat. And I thought, oh, that's a gentleman there. A gentleman who Marjorie would eventually wed and work for at Gulf Telephone Company. Gulf Telephone was a groundbreaking business originally owned by John Snook's father who helped bring telephone communication to South Baldwin County. John eventually assumed control of his father's company, which just happened to be located not too far from the Magnolia Hotel. And about a half century ago, John Snook decided to connect the two with a passageway beneath Foley. John. Uh, made that tunnel so that he could go over to the telephone company, not get out in the rain, or, and you know how our hurricanes are. A convenient way to cross the street in inclement weather. But as you might expect, there is another reason for the Foley Tunnel, a more serious reason, and to understand that, you'll have to understand the man who built it. World War II had ushered in the nuclear age. The Korean War was underway, and so was a growing dread of an attack from the Soviet Union. John Snook was concerned the Gulf Coast was vulnerable, so he set out to fortify his hometown, and that included the women in his company. He taught us how to shoot, how to shoot guns. Snook organized the women of the Gulf Telephone Company as a force to be reckoned with, training them to do anything the men could do in his telephone company, and then some. And he did it in a very public way, so much so that he even drew the ire of a Russian magazine writer in 1962 who referred to his female sharpshooters as Snook's Nylon Army. John was always ahead of his time. Which brings us back to that tunnel. Six feet under Foley, fortified with concrete walls and ceiling, one could easily mistake it for a 1960s era bomb shelter. Did he ever share with you that this might be a good place of refuge if something terrible happened? Not really, because I knew that. I knew the way it was built. Ironically, during the process of building the tunnel, the Snooks unearthed something they believed came from a real battle, perhaps from America's own violent struggle, the Civil War. We found a cannonball. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. We actually dug it out. Marjorie now proudly displays the artifact in a parlor of the old historic hotel. Another reminder of the man who was ahead of his time, but always had time for Marjorie. John was so kind, and he was so good, and I loved him, and I miss him very much. I do. Marjorie Snook lost her husband, John, back in 1994, but he's never far away. Through his profits from the sale of the phone company, the Snooks continue to do good work in the community, from historic preservation to a senior care center named after Snook. And that tunnel? The old steel door at the far end is now fused shut, blocking access to the phone company that still exists on the other side.
Darwin Singleton, Local 15 News.